The following is a production of DallasCowboys.com and the Dallas Cowboys Football Club. How about them, Cowboys? Yeah! This is Mick Shots, streaming live on DallasCowboys.com and the official Dallas Cowboys app. Now, here are Bill Jones, Everson Walls, and Mickey Spagnola. Go! Go! Dallas Cowboys! <laughs> What's the deal? That's how short this week is. Did we win anything yesterday? <laughs> You know what? You play a road game on a Thursday, and you get two, and you come off a victory. You get two straight days of stampede. Mm-hmm. The big crescendo. All right, here we go. It's time to get you ready for the Tennessee Titans on Thursday night. Welcome to the SWBC Podcast Studio and Mix Shots. Bill Jones, Everson Walls, and Mickey Spagnola. This is the day we make our picks. And oh, I, I almost forgot that. <laughs> I did not. And I cannot <laughs> wait to make my score prediction after <laughs> filling up my truck with gas just moments ago. <laughs> wait until you see my score oh, on this on, game. <laughs> how long has it been since you've Right, how much gas is <laughs> it? got a full tank this time. Oh. Full tank. And if you look at these Tennessee Titans, it may take a full tank. Oh. And, and, and my be a 50 burger (laughs) you know this is a cowboys team that has over the last eight games Mm -hmm. gone over 40 point 40 or more points four times in eight games that's right have you looked back in history on that one averaging 25 a game have you you gone back in history no no to, to see in a how season? many times in, a in an eight game stretch? Oh, in an eight game stretch. How many times at an eight game stretch has a Cowboys team scored forty or more points? They've done it four times in this eight game stretch. So y'all talk for the next forty five minutes, and I was I'll look say, it up. That takes, <laughs> that's a computer that you got to figure that one out. You ain't figuring that out on your own. Hey, we're going to have football players on a football field behind you. Uh, it looks like. There's, Th- yes, there's they stuff out they there. They won't be doing much practice will they? today. Yes, uh, it'll be a full practice, but at a walkthrough pace. Right. So, yeah, like all of them, they will have helmets on. They'll have I'll, helmets yeah. on. Yes. <laughs> they won't have. This they won't have. So <laughs> They're gonna have full practice. Yes, with nothing but helmets on. Yeah, no pads. They have to announce that there will be helmets worn. Well, did you guys wear pads on a short week? Yes, dude. You well, did. It's Tom Landry, man. Just stop asking me those questions, man. <laughs> you know these answers, bro. He just duded you. Yeah, he broed just, you, too. <laughs> yeah, see? You know these answers, man. Come on, let's just stop So how this. many times? What? During Thanksgiving. We, we, we would have two padded practices if we could. On like Tuesday and Wednesday, and you, you played play on, on Sunday. Thursday? You played on he Sunday. Do, we do light. We do light on the way back on on the, the day back. Monday. And Monday. we're gonna have yeah. But it was gonna be if we didn't have enough time, and he wanted to put in more stuff, he would not be ashamed to put us in shoulder pads and shorts uh, on that prep day, and then the the the, the full day, like on Monday, would be the next day. You put pads on after the day. We after put you we played. could put uh, shoulder pads on. Yes. You didn't have shells back then. Shells. <laughs> after did after, y'all do after Oklahoma, crawfish, yeah. Did y'all, shells, yeah. did y'all do the Oklahoma drill? No. We, <laughs> I don't even think we did that in training camp. No, no. Tom was a coach, but he wasn't a college coach. No, he was a professional coach. Yeah. God, I, I just, yeah, helmets was always going to be part of it. We never went out without helmets. Well, they'll have helmets today. Oh, wow. That's a good compromise. No Santa Claus hats or anything like that. <laughs> yeah, none of like that. Like yesterday. No, we didn't. Probably. We never did that. No, we never did that. Not even on your walkthrough day. Walkthrough, walkthrough. Yes, we would have. You could have Santa hat on, on Saturday yeah. before Sunday. Yeah. 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 yeah, there you go. Wait, Saturday? Yeah, Saturday we have no yeah. helmets on. Yeah, but that's a work day here. Hey, the New York with, the, with the Giants for some strange reason we would home game Saturday walkthrough day after everybody leave we play touch football. Well, that was that. They were they were running sprints on Saturdays, because that's the game 
was it 86, 85, Danny White pulled a hamstring mm-hmm. running s- sprints. <laughs> right. And he couldn't play against Running Denver. sprints the day before the game? Yeah. They, 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 it was, they were playing Denver, mm-hmm. and I think Pelur had to start. Um, he he pulled up lame because they were doing special teams drills and the quarterbacks were supposed to be running, right. you know, like covering, and and he couldn't play. And I think I think Randy White did something also, and he couldn't play in that. That's the game they got their butts. Oh, I was going to talk bad about Danny till you said Randy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> can't, I can't put those in the same category. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So what you got today? What's well, top of your mind? I got a lot of stuff on my mind. I've been studying the Tennessee Titans all morning. Do, do you, but do you know who's going to play? Did you see their injury list? Yes, they've got a lengthy. I think they have eleven starters on their injury report. Uh oh, they have us and, right where they want us. And I wrote down <laughs> with uh, Vrabel said uh, when they asked him, "Well, you know who's playing or whatever," and he said, "We'll try to find out who we have and who's available." So. That didn't bode well for them not thinking, we don't really need to win this game. But they don't have any place to turn. I mean, they just got to play with whoever can play. Yes. yes. So it's not like they can – well, there's one guy they can rest, and that's Derrick Henry. Right. And they can err on the so – There are probably other side. guys too, but they're not as far as guys them. that we Yeah, they're not going to push them to play. If they, they have think. a quality backup running back, don't they? I asked you that yesterday. No one. I was too no, stupid. Too lazy to look up the Hassan, answer myself. Hassan yeah. Hankins. It, <laughs> no? Nothing? Is he related to Jonathan Haskins. Hankins? <laughs> <laughs> I just looked at it real quick. I know you did. Yeah, obviously, you guys. But Dontrell Hilliard was their. Uh, uh, Haskins out of Michigan is their fourth round draft pick this year. Dontrell Hilliard has been their. Back up when Henry can't go, uh, but well, how come they don't list but, him on their but, depth but, chart? Because he's hurt. All right. <laughs> and so to answer your question, <laughs> no. that's one of their injuries right now. And so this is very timely this week, being the Christmas week. Yeah, Hiller, Hilliard's ran for all of 145 yards. Right, right. Hey, but, make that thing but, here's one of their... called a microphone. Won't you talk into it because I can't hear you. <laughs> I, I need a headset when I'm looking at my notes. <laughs> okay, I'm just letting you know. People can't hear you. This Christmas week, uh, one of their running backs, you'll like the name. It's Julius Chestnut. <laughs> <laughs> is that, that's appropriate for this week. It is. That's why I brought it up. Chestnuts? Julius Chestnut. Are yeah. they roasting? No. <laughs> you know, is he, is he, is I hope he re- he's not roasting the Cowboys. <laughs> <laughs> is he related to the hot dog guy? <laughs> Joey? Oh, yeah. Right, yeah. See, that's yeah, pretty yeah, good. Huh? Thank name. you. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not speaking the rest of the show. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's, that's a win for all of us. That's right. <laughs> It's great to have you here today, Everson, because Man, when we I'm closed the show yesterday, here. we thought that uh, you were going to be on the road, but mm-hmm. that uh, you decided to stay here. So all of those that tuned off because I'm not going to be here today, you, you can tune, tune back, back in. in. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. But no, I, we uh, got caught up in the whole Southwest thing, man. Yeah. I was trying to go to New Orleans, down to New Orleans. Yep. and uh, looked up on the board, and it was had red next to it, just like almost every other flight. I don't think I've ever seen a board of flights with nothing but canceled mm-hmm. on them. And that was departure and arrival. I think arrival had more red <laughs> than departures. The only one that went through was a flight to Vegas was landing at 315 or something like that. Imagine they could get to Vegas. Well, they were getting coming back from Vegas. Oh. That was the arrival. So it was just, I, I've never seen anything like it. Of course, you know, all those stories on, on TV, on the news, you can confirm you can that they are true. It. Exactly. Right. <laughs> there it was. Proof of proof of the, the case in point right there. So no, nah, it was just very interesting. Uh, we were out there for a little bit and I was like, baby, we ain't going nowhere. Let's get the heck on out of here. Yeah, I can do a podcast. That, that tomorrow. proves <laughs> right. to you you should have been flying American Airlines, the official airlines <laughs> of the right. Dallas Cowboys. There you go. Hey, I'm going with the airline, the official airline of Cheris Walls, okay? <laughs> She's a flight attendant, she got me that pass, and I was gonna use that pass. <laughs> but this is not a good time to use passes. 
during the Christmas season. Heck, okay. she couldn't even get home. No, she could not. She had to spend Christmas away from home uh, at uh, Chicago Midway. Wow. Yeah, yeah. And you know what? And where Midway is, there's not a lot around it. No. I mean, no. it's in a neighborhood, but there's of not course. like – you know, oh, there's yeah. a bunch of restaurants here. Well, yeah, right. No hotels. Not not, no, of- <laughs> no. And that was a shame because she was thinking when she knew she was going to be sent there, that's where all the flights were being canceled. So she was like, this is not going to work. So she knew right away. Wow. That was Low be a person problem. on a totem pole. There you go. Yeah. yeah. So now it was still, she came well, home. Well, good to have Everybody you. Everybody was happy to see her. She made it home safely. And uh, I'm glad I'm here today. So. News around the NFL today. J.J. Watt has announced he's retiring. Mm-hmm. Football. Saw that. Mike McCarthy. Why do you think he it? waited so long? I mean, why do you think he decided? It, it is interesting that he waited until after the last home game uh, for Arizona on Sunday night against Tampa Bay. It may, you could do, he, maybe. I mean, I, I, I give him credit for waiting until that because it's. It's egotistical when to, people know to, that they're going to go out. Yeah, and, and then you get the big tribute the at home. The, yeah, in the, the home, home game. game. Not just yeah. home games, but yeah. away teams right. sometimes would appreciate what you've done as well, and they would give you love. So I'm surprised he didn't go for the flowers. And you would appreciate what he's done in his career. No, no doubt. No doubt, no yeah. doubt about and it. And everything First he's thing done that pops the, to mind is the hat. hurricane yeah. situation in Houston and the and the uh, drive that he basically uh, put together, you know, for relief for Houston hmm. during that, aside from the three-time defensive player of the year, <laughs> yeah. laurels in his yeah. NFL career. So I heard someone on the radio said, you know, I think he, you know, I think he's got a chance to be a first ballot Hall of Famer. <laughs> I'm like, you think? Man, these guys are geniuses. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he's a first ballot Hall of Famer. But yeah, right? There's no t- debate. You know that when some of the quarterbacks go out, well, oh my God, Roethlisberger's uh, farewell was corny as I don't know what. Maybe that has something to do with him not wanting to to be sent out that way because, you know, the way they had it with Roethlisberger, they had shots from behind where he and the family were walking off into the sunset and all this kind of stuff. I'm like, man, this guy must have a – Spotless reputation off the field. Ha ha ha. Mm-hmm. And and having <laughs> and having said that, he could have waited. I like you now. I like you better, Spags. Go ahead, <laughs> go ahead, Bill. Having, okay, just in case anybody missed, missed your right, sarcasm. Right, right. <laughs> go ahead. Having said that, I guess JJ Watt could have waited a couple of weeks to make the announcement too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but they 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 close. They play at Atlanta. And then their last game is at San Francisco. So no, he deserves all his flowers. Yeah, yeah, no, he does. It he, doesn't. He, he does. Yeah, and they're not like on the outside looking in at a playoff spot. No chance. Well, and it's yeah. not like he's going to be on Sunday Night Football. Yeah, like Roethlisberger was right. in his last game, right. or whatever, or Thursday night. Mm-hmm. Yep, yeah. which the Cowboys are this week. Which, by the way, a question for you, Mister TV Guy. So since the game's on Amazon Prime? It's on Fox 4, I think, locally. Locally, Locally, I believe it's on Fox 4. Oh, that's excellent. All right. Yeah. So you don't have to. I had that So we can channel surf. Yeah, you can channel surf, (laughs) which is the the biggest issue that everyone has had with the Amazon Prime, is now you got got to have three remotes there, and you got to (laughs) go check how the Mavericks are doing. I just go from room to room. No, hold on. You can't check how the Mavericks are doing because they're not carried on anything. (laughs) That's why um, was Sunday, right? Was it Sunday? He could watch football and the Mavericks mm-hmm. at the same time, right? He could go back and forth because they were on the national oh, broadcast. Yeah. yeah. So speaking of uh, off the off the wall channels, YouTube. What's going on with YouTube and Monday Night Football? No, NFL Ticket. NFL Ticket. So that's, what's what? that's where the NFL Ticket's going. So I don't have to get Directv anymore. But you got to get YouTube TV. Got to get YouTube TV. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. All right. Well, what, so Directv is not going to have the ticket. That's what I understand. That's what. That's my understanding. That's trouble. That's trouble. <laughs> that's trouble. That's trouble. BTV, y'all better do something, man. Golly, well, just dude. put it on one television. You see? Then here we go again. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I get, I it's get. another subscription. <laughs> right. That's right. Oh, but at weird. least there are on. Yeah, because somebody asked me that, and I said, Yeah, I think so. I'm not sure. But, yeah, Fox, okay, that's good. 
So now there's YouTube channel and there's YouTube. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you we saying? sound like we're 60-something right. years old. <laughs> <laughs> we're right. <laughs> There's a YouTube channel, yeah. and then there's YouTube TV. Okay, and I believe it's on YouTube. I'll have TV. to call my. Right. I have to call my kids. Yes, right. they're the ones that are on. Every time I'll let my son have it. We yeah. spend we spend a half of Christmas <laughs> afternoon or Christmas morning me trying to figure out their YouTube. Now, how do I get ESPN right. now? Exactly. <laughs> do I need a computer? Yeah. <laughs> so, what scares you about these Titans? Anything. Do we want to do that when we come back here on Mix Shots? Well, if there's nothing that scares you, we'll go to a different topic. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm, I'm ready. I've got, I've got all, right. all sorts of Tennessee Titan yeah. stuff. I'm ready to unload. Yeah. All right. But ready, we don't have time enough in this segment to do that. <laughs> are you? Are the, is, when's the team out on the field? Uh, 12.05, I think. Okay, so you go check. Yeah, You're going to go eight. check and see who's out on the field, and we're going to dive into these Tennessee Titans when we come back here on Mix Shots. The Medal of Honor is our country's highest military award for valor in combat. More than 40 million individuals have served in the armed forces since the Civil War. Fewer than 4,000 have received the Medal of Honor. The National Medal of Honor Museum will be a place to preserve these legacies and inspire America. It's being built right next door to the Dallas Cowboys in Texas. Help us honor our country's greatest heroes. Learn more and get involved at mohmuseum.org. We paid how much for those lessons? Shh, she's doing great. Oh yeah, totally. Uh, can you pass me a Pepsi Zero Sugar? <sighs> great job, honey! Oh. oh, look at that. That's not the end. No way. Now it's time for the encore. You know what? You're right. Five times? Not enough times. For everyone who traded in rock concerts for their kids' recitals, you've compromised enough. Pepsi Zero Sugar. That's what I like. <sighs> Nobody protects you from mayhem like Allstate. You hear that? I'm a torrential downpour. Torrential? What's that even mean? It means you can't see out of your windshield. And if you have the wrong car insurance, you might have to make it rain to fix your bumper. So switch to Allstate, save money, and be better protected from mayhem, like me. Based on coverage and limits selected, subject to terms, conditions, and availability. In most states, prices vary based on how you buy. Allstate Bar & Casualty Insurance Company and affiliates, Northbrook, Illinois. What do you call a group of grown men and women with their faces painted silver and blue who get together every week to share a three-hour-long ritual of jumping, sinking, and toasting Miller Lite and 10-gallon hats while yelling, how about them cowboys? You call it Miller Time in Dallas. Here's to the Cowboys. Here's to the original light beer. It's Miller time. Celebrate responsibly. 2021 Miller Brewing Company, Fort Worth, Texas. Back, back to Mick Shots. Time to go, Mick. Go, you can't hear? Go. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, guess what happened as soon as you, it, I think you guys start laughing and go, and something comes over my headset. It says, eight hours and 30 minutes left. Something about timing, it, it, it timed out on my headset. Wow. So anyway. You hit the Bluetooth button. That's what happened. Dak Prescott yes. is this year's Cowboys nominee for the 2022 Walter Payton NFL Man of the Year Award presented by uh, Nationwide, man. recognizing NFL players for outstanding community service off the field and excellence on the field. Help Dak earn a $25,000 donation to his faith fight Finish Foundation by voting on Twitter. Tweet or retweet hashtag WPMOY challenge, followed by Dak Prescott through January 8th. Vote Dak. How much time do we have left now? What do you mean? Oh. On your Bluetooth. Well, they're out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mickey checked the practice field, and there's no one on the practice field right now. Looks like it might be a 1230 start. Okay. All right. So there's your latest from the Cowboys practice field. And we posed the question early in the show, have the Cowboys ever in the history of the franchise had a stretch like the current one where they have four games 
with 40 or more points in the last eight games played. And researcher supreme Chris Beam has the answer for us. Mr. Beam, go ahead. It has never happened. The most uh, 50-point games in a season. the 40-point games. Excuse me, Mm -hmm. Mm 40-plus in a season was 1971. And that was the first two games of the season against Buffalo and Philly on the road. And then, like Bill told me, the first game at New England, uh, the New England Patriots. First game at, at Texas, Texas Stadium, Stadium. Yes. October 24th, 1971. They scored 44 against the Patriots. And then they had two games in December, 52 and 42, back-to-back weeks against the Giants and the Jets. So they had five in that season, but yep. those five were not in an eight-game stretch like what the Cowboys Correct. currently have. And Everson, what happened in that 1971 season? Can you re- recall? I was only 11, but I do recall celebrating sometime in January. That was the first time the Cowboys won the Super Bowl. Yes. was in that season, 1971, closing with 10 straight wins. So that 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 as I asked myself, okay, which team do you think was Tom's favorite? Would it be the oh, – I can't remember if that's a 66 squad. That beat 66 the, was pretty good. As the Detroit – when they beat Detroit 5-0 and Tom said. No, that was 1970. Yeah. Seven, that, that was 70, 70 as well? Yeah, in the playoff Ooh. game, 5-0. Wow. That was 1970. And that season, the Cowboys went to the Super Bowl and controversially lost it to the, to the, to the, the Colts. Baltimore Colts. Yes, with the, the tip pass mm-hmm. to um, – And a uh, fumble on the goal line that was recovered by Dave my, I, I, Mine that, was the John Mackey catch. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. So – his favorite team probably was the 71 team, you think, huh? Yep, the first Super Bowl mm-hmm. winning team. And, okay, so there were five 40-point games in that season. And the Cowboys right now are at four 40-point games this season. Yep. They went to the Super Bowl that year. So what does that say to you, Bill? What that, do you think, that, Bill? That tells me <laughs> that they've got two chances, Thursday night in Tennessee or the season finale at Washington to get over 40 points. And that will match 1971 for the regular season. So, ergo. And that, perhaps that, that bodes well for the postseason. And that counts for the defense scoring points, too? I well, guess. it's a total number of points. Total points. Game. All right. We don't care how you get it there. Mm-hmm. You just get there. So there I'm you go. I'm wondering how big that gas bill was right now. That's You're going to find out at the end of the show whether the Cowboys <laughs> are going to get 40 points on Thursday night at Tennessee. All right, Mickey, we're diving into Tennessee. What was the question you posed? Tennessee, what concerns you about Tennessee? That's a good question. And I'll set this up for you because according to this, they got off to a 7-3 start. 7-3 start. Mm Mm-hmm. They have now lost five straight games. Let me. That was part of my research this morning. But here's the other thing since you're talking mm -hmm. 40-pointers. One, two, three. So if you add up the totals of three of their five losses, they don't get to 40 points. They lost to Philadelphia 35-10 to on December 4th. The following week against Jacksonville, they lost 36-22. to mm-hmm. And then you go back to the second week of the season against Buffalo, they lost 41-7. to but, those are the most points they've given up in those losses yeah. that they have this season. But in these losses over the last five, they have scored 16, 10, 22, 14, and 14. That's how many points their offense has scored. Yes, yes. that's uh, what, what they what, Yeah, what they put on the board. All right, here's the interesting thing about that. They got off to a 7-3 and three start to start the season, okay? But those wins, oh, they started the season with two straight losses, and then – Seven wins against Las Vegas by two points. Mm -hmm. Just keep in mind the opponents. The Raiders by two points. The Colts by seven. The Commanders by four. They beat the Colts again by nine. They beat the Texans by seven. Then they lost to Kansas City by three, which might be the best game they played in that stretch, even though it was a loss Mm -hmm. because of the opponent. And it was overtime. And and so they were five and three at that point. Then they beat Denver, which just fired their head coach, by a seven. 
Then this is probably their best win. It was a Thursday night game at Green Bay. They win 27-17. Packers were not going well at that point, though. Packers have improved here over Mm -hmm. the last few Mm -hmm. weeks. Remember what happened after that game? They landed back in Nashville at 4 o'clock in the morning. Offensive coordinator uh, got pulled over on the way home. Right. A week or so later, they fired their GM, John Robinson. Look at the schedule after that. They were 7-3. and three. Their next four games, losses to Cincinnati, mm. Philadelphia, mm. Jacksonville, mm. and the Chargers. Jacksonville, we'll see if they make the playoffs, but the other three teams are playoff bound. But, and then Houston last week, 1914. they lost to Houston. Yeah. Houston has a better football team than them right now. That's why they lost to Houston. Houston's, Houston's a pretty good football Houston team. Houston right showed now. it the, uh, against Dallas yes. and against Kansas yes. City. Took yes. Dallas and Kansas City Nobody right down to, to the wire. Mahomes. And then That's they right. won one. Time. And then yeah. they won at Tennessee. That's right. But it, it, the quality of the opposition there, the Tennessee, give them credit, they won those games, but you went through that, that whole list. And none of those teams are going to the playoffs. That they yeah, beat. but at that time, the only, the only pushback on that is at that time those teams were they weren't they what weren't, they are right now. There they you go. They yeah. weren't trending downward the way they are now. Right. I wouldn't say they were trending upward, but they weren't trending downward at the time that they were playing these teams. It's like at the beginning of the season, before the season started, everyone's talking about the easiest schedule in the league are the NFC East teams. Right. Okay, because they're playing the <laughs> NFC East teams twice and they're coming off last they're they're basing it off last year's records. Right. Okay. Well look at this year's records. And now if if you look at the end of the season, you'll probably look back and say, you know, the Cowboys, the Eagles and the Giants, they all played tough schedules That's this right. year. Uh, Commanders as well. Mm-hmm. Which, That's right. Which mm-hmm. the Cowboys were tied, I think, with Washington for the easiest, supposedly before the season strength started. Of schedule. Strength of schedule. Yeah. But the biggest issue Tennessee has right now is the fact that they don't have their quarterback, Ryan Tannehill. And so they're going with the rookie Malik Willis, third-round pick out of Liberty. And if you look at Willis last week against Houston, he was 14 out of 23 for 99 yards, two interceptions, no touchdowns, was sacked four times. He ran the ball seven times for 43 yards and a touchdown. When you look back at his his first game he played in, was against Houston at uh, pr- just prior to midseason, six out of ten for fifty-five yards and interception. He remember remember the Kansas City game. The, Tennessee played well against they Kansas did. City, the twenty to seventeen game. Yes, and he started that game, and it was a well coached, g- good offensive game plan yeah. for that matchup. He was five out of sixteen for eighty yards, was sacked three times. He ran eight times for forty yards in that game. And if if your defense comes along with you, and I'm talking in Tennessee's case, if your defense comes along with you, then you have a chance to win the game. And that's the only thing that worries me about it is, you know, Tennessee has us exactly where they want us. You know, coming in, feeling comfortable, uh, hoping that we can play down to our competition the way we have Coming off a game against Philadelphia. Short week, got to travel, things of that nature. Uh, all of those things bode well for Tennessee, you would think, on paper. But to me, if you go into a game like this, I don't want a quarterback to know where I'm going to be. I'm not going to come in with vanilla. Oh, well, we'll get good enough to beat this team if we just go basic defense all, all game long. Well, if you go out and your offense starts to stutter, and then you give this offense a chance, then you'll get a big scramble by Willis, maybe a lucky play down the field. They got athletes as well. Next thing you know, crowds into it, and we got another Jacksonville situation. You, you don't want to give them a chance early in the game like you did Philadelphia where it's a pick six. I'm, I'm going to throw some things at this young quarterback to make him shake his head early in the game and have him unconfident for the for the rest of the game. Show him things he's never seen. I'm not coming out with vanilla coverage. I'm going to make sure that we confuse him early on so we can make we, – we're going to keep him confused and down for the entire game. Derrick Henry has three straight games with 100 yards rushing. Against Jacksonville, he went for 121 yards on 17 carries. Against the Chargers, 104 yards on 21. In this game against Houston, 126 yards on 23 carries. Touchdowns in each of those games. His last previous 100-yard game was the Kansas City game, 17 carries, 115, and two touchdowns. 
the Titans lost all four of those games. If you go back in Derrick Henry's career, if he got 100 yards in a game, they win that game. This season, his last four 100-yard games, they haven't won. That's why the difference this year is their defense is not as good. That's just the way it is. They're, they're and the reason that GM got fired was that trade that was made on draft day. A.J. Brown oh, yes. leaving Tennessee and going to the Philadelphia Eagles. Wow. And now they have no receiver to think of to, that you can think of now they, that's nearly his caliber. Yeah, they drafted one from Arkansas to trail on Burks Love in the first him. round. Love but him. he's a rookie. Yeah, he's yeah. a rookie. Yeah. And Robert, Robert Woods was a guy that they signed in free agency from the Rams last year. He cannot get a break. And, <laughs> yeah. And he was coming off everywhere an ACL. He go, everywhere he goes, he just yep. doesn't seem to produce. The other thing on their offensive line, last game they started two guys on their offensive line against the Texans who haven't started all year. So they got injury issues in their offensive line. And speaking of offensive linemen, we have Nate. a six-time <laughs> pro bowler who has truth on his hoodie. And he Man. must have heard something that uh, got uh-huh. him riled up. <laughs> I am so excited, man. I'm trying to talk Douglas into making what you just said a cow bite. What's that? Do not go out and get his young quarterback. I mean, I hate to do it to the brother. Yeah. I hate to do it to the brother, <laughs> but let's confuse the brother. <laughs> we have to. We yeah, have that to. was that was. Y'all should have just walked out after he said uh, it. Y'all should have dropped was, the mic. Uh, Mickey's tried to drop the mic throughout the show. <laughs> He's had so many mic issues. He didn't want to do it been, I said that. I said that last week about Gardner Minshew. Yes. How did that work? No, Don't no. let him get comfortable. Yeah. Don't let him start seeing the field. No, I, I just beat I just, up the game. I don't have nothing to say, but I, I just wanted to come. You know, so that just, was just great. listen to the wisdom. But I was just thinking I heard that before. <laughs> but I just don't want us to be judged on Bill's gap filling up his truck. <laughs> <laughs> I just what if you don't only get five dollars and sixty five cents? He still filled up from last game. Yeah. <laughs> if we get five dollars and sixty five cents. You know what? Saying, yeah, and why me don't topping we, off we my losing, tank. We losing sixty five to five. Why, yeah. why did you need more gas than a short week? By yeah. the way, because well, like, like I just Christmas. topped off the tank last Thursday. Remember? Because wow. it was so cold, I wasn't going to sit at the you pump that got long. A, you should have got. I said, full, I, I, said I, I should have got 40 in. Instead of 30 in, I would have. <laughs> wow. Oh, I, no. did, I did win the, the pick last week. Well, I don't know What'd about you that. Bet? 30 to 26. Yeah, it was closest to the final score. Yeah, but that don't mean that's a win. That just means we're Hey, all, I just played, I played down to my competition just, <laughs> right here. <laughs> that means you just failed less than we did, less miserably than oh, we did. That's all. Oh, that's <laughs> so do, do you think they're going to hand, if Henry plays, they're going to hand him the ball? He's had 319 carries already. If he plays, you got to run him. Otherwise, what's the point of playing him? Would so you play? Could. Would you play him, Nate? It's two guys I know wouldn't play. They got a defensive tackle, Simmons, mm-hmm. seventh. Uh, he was not play, and and Henry. It, 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 it'd be like, hey man, come as warm as you can. <laughs> I, I'm <laughs> On serious. The I'll, I'll, say, I'll, I'll say, hey yeah. man, all we need is just support. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't. If I am of the old school, if you dress, you play. Do not even dress these guys. Mm-hmm. Don't even enter t- because your whole season is not riding on this game at game. all. Mm-hmm. So if Jacksonville played their quarterback and their running back and their main wide receiver, that's dumb. This one time I'm going to say that's dumb. Why would you even t- entertain that thought? I wouldn't. I wouldn't. You know, I, I just wouldn't. said that. Uh, if that's the way they approach the game, then how should we approach the game? Uh, I'm Should a, we approach Got to win it. Got to win it, but do you – Because we still have a different be, situation. Can you be choosy? Can you be choosy? No. Here's the you other thing. have a chance. Yeah. Here's the other thing. division title. Right. But how can you be choosy on how you win? Well, Jacksonville – If you think they're that bad. Well, me, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't count no, on No, don't look at it that day. No. Everson, don't do that. Don't, yeah. don't, 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 don't. Talk to me. I would play our guys, Yeah. you know – and because you you trying to build momentum, you trying to build on something you did. We we finally our offense finally faced a, I think a nice defense last week, and they performed. So you want to build on that offensively, you know. Uh, defensively, how, how far do you build on that? Do let's say we're up 
twenty nothing or thirty five nothing. I don't know. In, no, in, in the first, in the first half, that's a different story. Yeah, well, exactly. That's why I'm asking the different yeah. questions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, and you're not going to get the same answer. <laughs> would you? Would you? You would take? Would you take him out? Uh, yeah, like, yeah. Oh, I yeah. would take. I would take key guys out. Yeah. Some guys will have to continue to play, but I would mm-hmm. take key guys out. But the thing is, this is what I've always hated for the last six or seven years. At the end of the year, it's too many scenarios. Mm-hmm. Right. But the way we used to do it, you was playing. I heard about you talking about the pads and all of that. Mm-hmm. It never crossed my mind that you wasn't going to be in pads. Mm-hmm. When we wasn't in pads, we had I, – I, one time I'm going to give you a story. Remembers. He remembers. I'm going to give you a story. <laughs> We got cussed out so bad before going into practice to let us know that we was in, not in pads. I said, hey, coach, just, just put us in pads. If we got to be if all you in, to... just put us in pads. No, no, no. I, yeah. remember, I remember Coach Landry would give us yeah. uh, days off that he did not want to give us days right. off. So he would say, okay, I'm going to do this for you guys. But if one of you misses, yeah. then everybody's going to be punished. Like, okay, co- Coach, never mind. We don't yeah. even want well, days off if it's going to be those kinds of You remember the night off you got in uh, in Austin? Yeah, yeah. What happened the next day? Yeah, we, it was ugly. It was ugly. <laughs> he made them run sprints. <laughs> See? <laughs> and everybody was losing whatever they had the and, night before. And that, like you said, it's not worth it. It is not, not worth, worth it. it. That's so, not a perk. But – the, the the key to this, and I tell everybody, is all 32 teams are set on the same schedule. Not not so much as how, how you practice, but you ain't hitting but once a week up until a certain amount in right. the year. Then after that, pads coming off, whether the coach wanted to or not, pads are coming off. So it, it, it's equal. Now it truly comes down to who has the more responsible players, and who has the most, the largest group of players that are willing to be responsible that are great players mm-hmm. and your coaches. Because the the, the dregs, I don't want to call them dregs, but we the players that cannot that. play <laughs> don't mess up anyway. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's a good word, though. Yeah. I like that uh, word. <laughs> all right, we got our picks to click and picks for the game. Just how much is in the Cowboys' tank in Tennessee when we come back in a moment? Yeah, and if you, you can pick eight players, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> we paid how much for those lessons? Shh. She's doing great. Oh, yeah, totally. Uh, can you pass me a Pepsi Zero Sugar? Great job, honey! Oh. Oh, look at that. That's not the end. No way. Now, it's time for the encore. You know what? You're right. Five times? Not enough times. For everyone who traded in rock concerts for their kids' recitals, you've compromised enough. Pepsi Zero Sugar. That's what I like. (sighs) Nobody protects you from mayhem like Allstate. You hear that? I'm a torrential downpour. Torrential? What's that even mean? It means you can't see out of your windshield. And if you have the wrong car insurance, you might have to make it rain to fix your bumper. So switch to Allstate, save money, and be better protected from mayhem, like me. Based on coverage and limits selected, subject to terms, conditions, and availability. In most states, prices vary based on how you buy. Allstate Bar and Casualty Insurance Company and affiliates, Northbrook, Illinois. The Medal of Honor is our country's highest military award for valor in combat. More than 40 million individuals have served in the armed forces since the Civil War. Fewer than 4,000 have received the Medal of Honor. The National Medal of Honor Museum will be a place to preserve these legacies and inspire America. It's being built right next door to the Dallas Cowboys in Texas. Help us honor our country's greatest heroes. Learn more and get involved at mohmuseum.org. The season is finally here. For months, we've been gearing up to win. Now it's time for the team that performs on any field, United Ag and Turf. With John Deere zero turns for mowing, compact tractors for loading, mini excavators for digging, Gator utility vehicles for hauling, implements for grading, hay tools for baling, United Ag and Turf for winning. The official Ag and Turf equipment supplier of the Dallas Cowboys. Visit unitedagandturf.com for more. Back, back to mixed shots. Post Roofing and Waterproofing, proud partner of the Dallas Cowboys. From corporate homes to your home, have your roof checked by choice, not by chance. Call now, 214-225-4860, and that would be kpostcompany.com. 
All right, final few minutes here of Mix Shots. Bill Jones, Everson Walls, Mickey Spagnola, and the star of the show, Nate Newton. Uh, from Frisco. Here. Nate and Frisco. <laughs> Nate and Frisco. It's a <laughs> special situation where we've allowed Nate and Frisco to join us in the studio here. And now it's time to make our picks. Unless Mickey's got something he wants to add. I mean, it looks like he's poised to say something you know very what? wise. I- I guess this goes without saying, but I don't remember us saying it, that, uh, you know, the, the Cowboys clinched a playoff spot, right? Mm-hmm. They've also clinched the fifth seed because no one can catch them, no matter mm-hmm. what they do in these last two games. Say what, uh, say, say what you said in the break about the 12-win season. Oh, yeah. And, by the way, they are one win away. And if they do it Thursday night, it would be 12 wins in a 16-game season, by the way because they got 17, right? But they would have back-to-back 12 win seasons for the first time since 94, 95. Actually, 93, 94, 95. How about that? And Ooh. what happened those years? <laughs> oh, Bill, they went to three straight <laughs> NFC titles. And remember games. what we said earlier, the last time the Cowboys had five 40-point games or more in a season, they won their first Super Bowl, and they got a chance to— I'm not saying a word. I'm not saying it either. I'm just <laughs> bringing, it, bringing it up. Okay. okay. All right, Everson. Nate, are you going to participate? No, no, no. I just. Well, I was asked. Uh, Producer Supreme secretly asked me to ask you what the, your predicted score was last week. Twenty-one twenty. Twenty-one twenty. Yeah. Okay. All right. I don't know why he asked me to ask you that, but. And by one point. One point. Help. That's. Have you done that all season? All season. By one help. point. I get you. All right. Three. So what's your Sam, score? Really what's you your gonna... score in this game? Man, we should beat the brakes off these dudes. <laughs> beat them by two points. We're going to beat them by three. <laughs> if it's a blowout, it's going to be by three. I like that philosophy. Yeah. That's and you ask him the score, he'll go just so piling it on. So, huh? so, so, 23 20? So no, 21 20. 23 20. 23 20. 23 20. 23 20. Yeah. Okay. They'll kick a walk off field goal. <laughs> All, All right. right. I got the. Uh, I have this game, once again, beat the brakes off. My score will indicate really bringing the brakes off. 31 to 13 hmm. is the outcome of this game. And we're going to get there as simply as we can offensively. We got off last week with the, the big plays, the CD and all of that. CD is not going to be the guy this week. It's going to be all three tight ends are going to have. All three. Three. Well, three of them playing. Or four. I'm had five three. on the field the other going, day, didn't I'm they? I'm going three, 80, 87, 89, 86. Those are my guys. I think they're going to have a great game. See, McEwen never gonna... gets any love. No, yeah. McEwen ain't getting no love from me. I hadn't seen McEwen catch one pass. <laughs> That's because he's playing <laughs> fullback. <laughs> there you go, then. Let him keep doing that. He is not part of my pick to click. Okay. So, so he gets so the, it's like I'm, you're I'm picking rolling, three tight ends. I'm picking, I'm picking Nate and Frisco, are we gonna approve this? But is you pick them as a unit, huh? I'm picking them as a unit. Okay, so yes. that's so that's that's you gotta take the fourth to guy too. I mean but you gotta take the I gotta take them all. Yeah. All right, I'm taking them okay. all. all right. I'm taking them all. Just all right. throw a net in the water. <laughs> okay. So, no, wait, I pick <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. I picked the tight ends. I mean that's all gonna be off. So the tight ends need a courtesy driver. Yes. Okay. All right. Yeah, don't let them you just watch. They're going to target tight ends in this game. I'll make sure when we get on the charter that all the tight ends are on the <laughs> That's play. That's right. right, and they sit together. All right. <laughs> Me? Yep. Uh, I've got, and Nate saw this, so I had it written down already before Everson made his choice. Mm-hmm. I have 31-16, and because the Titans will want to run and run and run some more. Mm-hmm. My pick to click is going to be Damone Clark. Damone, that's okay. He will stuff that run. All right. Because I still think Layton's probably going to sit one more game. Mm. He's yeah. going to be stuffing Hassan Haskins, not Derrick Henry. Not, not Derrick Henry. <laughs> you don't think Henry's going to play? Okay. We'll see. All right. He was on the injury report, by the way, if I remember correctly, wasn't he? That's right. Yes, he was. Okay. Yep. Yep. Okay. Um, My uh, my pick to click. (laughs) I'm going. We're going to get a drum roll on this. I'm going. (laughs) (laughs) I'm I'm doing a lot of typing. This is going to be a lot of typing here. My pick to click is the nephew of the freak. Mm. Remember Javon Curse? That's right. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. 
He had a pretty good career with the Tennessee Titans. So So here comes (laughs) J-Ron, the nephew of Javon. (laughs) Now, he's coming off a pretty good game. Now, I'm I'm probably a week late on this. You probably are. But I think J-Ron can do it again this week. Back in Tennessee, where his uncle was a star, defensive rookie of the year, at least Mm -hmm. a couple of Pro Bowls for Javon Kurtz back in the day. So J-Ron is my pick to click. And I filled up. My Ford F-150. <laughs> That's a proud sponsor, right? I can say yeah, Ford yes, F-150. I believe so. All right. Ford will be very proud. I don't of know you. if you can uh, see this or not on the camera here. 56 to 5. May... There it is. There's your score. $56.05 <laughs> to fill up the Ford F-150. There's your score. 56 to 5. That's pretty clever there, Bill. i got to give it to you now. <laughs> It was 30 to 26 last week. It's 56 to 5 this week. So you're not pulling the guys when they're up 30 to 5. I'm just no, I'm, I'm pulling ball. I'm pulling for them to stay in the game is what I'm doing. <laughs> hey, your second team was getting ball, man. That's your right. Did you see that? Ball, did you see that Colts fourth quarter? I did. I think you did. Mm-hmm. And this is against Levi another did. AFC South team? Yeah. Okay. So doesn't matter. You can get 33 in the fourth quarter and get mm-hmm. to 56. You better go talk to Cooper Rush then. All there right. You go. There you go. Ready. Cooper's ready. All right. You Cooper like my pick? Dragging no, I don't like your pick. <laughs> I like your pick, Bill. Especially the J. Ron Curse pick. I like that. All right. Very good. Mm-hmm. So we're about out of time. Yes. We're going to be back one on Friday. Days, one of these days, we're going to pick Deron Bland, by the way. Yes. Correct. But mm-hmm. they're not going to, I just can't see them throwing to him. I can't. I don't. I don't. I don't see Willis having the guts to throw to a guy that he knows is hot right now. Can't see it. Well, he's got to throw at somebody. He, the running backs. He's gonna throw the running backs. So your boy Clark and, and Diggs will do his job instead of jumping routes. <laughs> so uh, Mickey, are you going to the Grand Ole Opry tomorrow night in Nashville? I don't think so. Okay. Yeah. No. You got any big plans? I haven't even thought about it yet. All right. Nashville's a good place. And you know it's what? Colder. I forgot to look and huh? see where Isn't we're Isn't it staying. cold there? Yes, it is. Although it's, there's a warming trend coming. But so nothing cold. tomorrow, right? Nothing tomorrow. Nothing is it because on of my game birthday? day. We're taking oh. my birthday off. Is that what we're doing? Oh, it's your we're birthday. We have to sing. Yeah, we just take it off tomorrow. Yeah, you can, you, can yeah. tomorrow? Yeah, you can sing it tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah, you can sing it tomorrow. Or we'll do it I'll Friday. I think we're uh, we'll back have a belated Friday. birthday celebration <laughs> on Friday. Happy birthday, my brother. Thank you. Brother. Thank what you, that, what that make you? What, 60 what? Three. Wow, no, you're Larry old Cole. Dude. Larry Cole. <laughs> you're older than Nate. <laughs> you're old dude. Wow, you're old dude. Well, yeah. Nate's old as Christmas. Yeah. Uh, yes, all right. That does it for this yeah, edition not be of talking about Mix <laughs> Shots. Yeah, we got a lot of arrows. A lot of, a lot of targets for those arrows. <laughs> and we will shout at you after a 56-5 to 5 win on Friday at noon here on Mix Shots. Oh, Cowboys. And we this has been a production of DallasCowboys.com and the Dallas Cowboys Football Club. How about this, Cowboys? Yeah!